Hey, it's Johnson. Have you using AI right now to help you with your cold traffic copy, your landing pages, stuff like that, especially your video ads? Then you gotta check this video out because we're gonna talk about some compliance issue. Someone named Edward from the Princeton University developed a app or a device that could actually detect if your copy was written by AI. And I'm gonna talk about in this video how it's gonna affect your compliance and what I foresee could be happening and what you need to do. So we're gonna go and check out this video right now. So this guy, Edward, right here, we're gonna watch that little clip in a second. Um, I think from Princeton, we're going to see it. And he developed the app or developed a mechanism that could test if your copy is written by AI. So let's check this out, okay? And what does this mean for compliance and what issues it might run into? Let's talk about that. Princeton University engineering student has built an app to detect whether a paper has been written using chat GPT. His app, which is called GPT Zero, is receiving praise for its success from professors and teachers. I think ChatGPT is That's a not my really cousin. incredible innovation, and I've Just been hearing you know. the buzz all around campus in December, and everyone talking about ChatGPT. I just thought it's incredible, but at the same time, it's a technology that's like opening a Pandora's box, and we can never put it back, and we needed to build the safeguards to adopt it responsibly, and that's the motivation for GPT Zero. It's based off some research I've been doing with Princeton's NLP lab this semester. In terms of one of the indicators we look for is this burst in creativity. So because humans have short-term memory, we have these sudden bursts in creativity and variance in our writing. 22-year-old Edward. All right, humans have a unique short memory and we have these little bursts of you know, creative ideas that we plug into our, you know, the way we talk into our copy, which is different from what a computer generated copy would do. And they're able to detect that. Okay. And what does this all mean for compliance? Well, pretty soon Facebook, Google, and wherever you're running traffic on, you know, they want human copy because people are going to complain, right? Oh my gosh, I'm seeing ads from just computer. Everything's fake. You know, when, and when viewers starts losing trust, and think everything's computerized, they'll stop clicking, they'll stop buying, they'll stop using. That's why Google, you know, we'll use Google example. They have a lot of compliance rules. You can't say certain things. You can't make up facts. You got to tell the truth, you know, or you got to, you know, bend it in a way that is still truthful from the run. Because if they don't do things like that, people lose trust in Google. They won't Google for information anymore. They'll go somewhere else. And they need you to keep believing and trusting Google. OK, and that's one thing. People don't really trust AI all the way. They trust humans and experiences, right? Because AI could just kick out, you know, artificial intelligence could just kick out all types of, you know, manipulated information, too. When you're writing ads and you're using AI and you're running it cold traffic now for warm traffic, like your own internal email list or things that you only certain people will see that you send to, there's not as much compliance rule. Right. But when you're running cold traffic, you know, Google have to put their name on the line for you because they're running it, all right? So when you have copy that's similar to another one, because we're using similar prompts, you know, we could get really creative coming up with these prompts, but it's gonna kick out similar answers. And a lot of, you know, media buyers and entrepreneurs and offer owners, they're not going in detail and breaking each word down and revising it. They're just gonna copy and paste what looks good. And when you have similar copy, it could trigger violations in the future. And that's why I foresee. So if you're kicking out, you know, an ad copy that's really similar to this one and that one has a violation, they'll flag them all at the same time, right? Anything that's similar, all right? So what you have to do is if you're using AI, you have to humanize your copy. Go back in, cherry pick each little thing. Don't just copy and paste the entire thing through, okay? You have to make the copy unique to you and let the system know that it's been humanized. It's been written by a human. Now, I'll give you another example. In one of our ads, you know, it triggered a violation, right? It got shut down. We it didn't pass compliance, right? And we were looking at why, and it's because the copy and some of the imagery was similar to this other CBD offer that wasn't compliant. So since that wasn't compliant, they just thought this is the same thing. Even though we weren't selling CBDs, we're selling something totally different, a different natural supplement. 
they still had to flag and we have to still prove ourselves. And um, I'll give you another experience. All right, in the past, we had a talent who was a celebrity, a fitness celebrity. And just using him in our ads, we got a, um, we didn't get through compliance. Our ad didn't, weren't able to you know, advertise it. They were saying that we were using a, 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 fam a famous person, you know, just using it, but they didn't realize that we hired this person. We had to submit contracts and paperwork showing that this person worked for us to get out of compliance, right? So you could see how they're able to detect that. And that was, you know, a while ago, right? So you can imagine in the future, they're going to be able to detect all these different ads and all this stuff. And beyond just compliance, if someone's running an ad that's similar to yours, and many people have viewed this one already, your ad is less effective because it's not unique, okay? What I mean is unique is the first time seeing it instead of seeing it over and over. And beyond that, if they see this ad and see your ad and the copy similar, they might mistake your ad for theirs and they might you know, remember theirs a little bit better and they might go and buy from that person and search for that person after seeing yours and you're just wasting ad spend. Use AI, it's a great tool. As I tell people, you know, it's not gonna become your copywriter. I mean, if I gave you a law book or I gave you a book about, you know, scientific facts, you're not a doctor, you're not a lawyer, okay? Those are just tools to help you, all right? Same thing with copywriting. You know, make sure you cherry pick the content. Write your own, you know, even write your own copy and then submit your copy into AI and have AI revise it instead of having AI write it for you, you know? And I'm, you know, even myself, I'm no robot, I'm no, you know, I am a copy expert. So when I'm reading AI copy, I can tell that it's AI, but for the normal person, they can't. And that's the kind of trickery that, you know, Google and them, they want to avoid. Humans don't want to hear someone's, you know, a script from a robot. We don't trust the robot. And here's the interesting thing, you know, why do people not trust a robot? Why, you know, when we see mannequins or, you know, robots that look human, you know, why are we so fascinated? You know, there's an interesting thing that um, I read about is that we're always looking into, you know, looking for their soul. We look at these mannequins and they're scary because we're looking deep into the eyes to see if they have a soul in them. And that's what we trust. We want to hear verbiage from, you know, and, you know, we want to hear information from someone with a soul someone that's real right and that's one of the main things with compliance and i really want to bring that video to you bring that attention to let you know it's coming they're going to detect your ai copy you could spend all this time and do all that but it might not work but right now it's working and you might be thinking well i'm getting my ads out, i'm making money it's working it's working well we call this the wild west the wild west is when anything goes right kind of like you know in america with the wild west until wide herb and all these guys with the help of doc holiday you know come in that's from the movies and they set the law and everything has to get cleaned up and things have to change right and this is coming so prepare yourself by using ai as a tool instead of using ai as your copywriter all right and uh, um i hope this information helped because you got to remember when you're doing cold traffic science is key and you got to remember again cold traffic is different you know you're trying to um get someone who doesn't that's just walking down the street that doesn't even know they have a problem, right? You have to give them that problem, make them realize it's going to solve whatever issues they have, and then get them to buy. And sometimes people will say, you know, uncompliant things, you know, or say things that, you know, uh, um, are too hurtful, whatever, and are too similar now with AI. So that's another uh, layer of compliance you got to watch out for. So I hope this video helps. Keep following me, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Facebook group, opt in to get my free YouTube template and learn how to become a cold traffic killer, okay? And stay tuned for more video, for more information to become you know, the best copywriter you can and start scaling without limits, all right? And it's Johnson again, your new copy coach. Hope I can help and talk to you again. Peace.